Today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga, which is currently being directed by J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, Episode 9 is currently filming over in the UK. J.J. is hard at work on constructing the final film of the sequel trilogy, and honestly, in my eyes here, it's a very important task to complete on a good note for a majority of the Star Wars fans around the world in order to make the sequel trilogy ending a satisfying one. But looking at episode 9 specifically, we've been hearing about all of these new characters, these new actors and actresses that actually have been cast for actors, uh, for certain characters in episode 9. And a lot of people have been wondering exactly what's going on here. Why are there so many characters entering into episode 9? Now, we actually went over this a couple of months ago, how this movie is actually going to be the Star Wars movie that has the most characters out of every other film than before. And we can see the proof right now. I mean, we see Matt Smith, Dominic Monaghan, uh, we have Kerry Russell, we have Richard E. Grant. I mean, I'm losing track of how many people are on board. There's a lot of new characters that are coming into play here for Episode 9, and a lot of people have been talking about the concept of Ezra Bridger making his return in the final film of this trilogy. And since, you know, the plot leak back in May, a huge plot leak that everybody was talking about, that we could very well be heading over into the unknown regions. And by the very ending of Star Wars Rebels Season 4, it's pretty much assumed that that is where Grand Admiral Thrawn and Ezra Bridger went when they jumped into hyperspace, was of course all the way into the unknown regions. Now this is opening up a lot of different discussions about Ezra Bridger being in Star Wars Episode 9 and whether or not it would indeed be a good or a bad idea. To me, I think it would be a fantastic idea because not only would it fall directly in line with how Episode 9 will have a Star Wars Rebels connection to a degree, but it would also further explain the fate of Ezra Bridger. Again, we don't really know exactly what happened to him, and I think that was very, very well done by Dave Filoni. I think that it's too convenient that Star Wars Rebels Season 4 was the, ser the series finale, essentially, well before Episode 9's release. And I think that there's a high possibility that going into Episode 9, we are going to actually see or maybe even get a reference to Ezra Bridger. A lot of people have been throwing around the idea that maybe Matt Smith, who by the way plays Doctor Who, maybe he is indeed Ezra Bridger in this movie. Some people are thinking maybe that he's Grand Admiral Thrawn. The thing here is this, is that Matt Smith's character is supposed to be a key role in this movie. Not only that, but Episode 9, like I said, will have a Star Wars Rebels connection. Not only that, J.J. Abrams will be using prequel trilogy continuity as well as original trilogy content in this film. So there's a lot of things to look forward to when it comes to the final film of the sequel trilogy. As far as Ezra Bridger goes, you know, quite possibly being in 9, I think that it is one of the best things to do because not only would it introduce this character to a lot of ca casual fans out there that are very much unfamiliar with the Star Wars Rebels TV series that would maybe even make them draw back to that show and watch it and get used to that character and learn more about him. It's kind of similar in a sense to how a lot of new fans entered the sequel trilogy and learned about Kylo Ren and his mysterious grandfather. And a lot of people, I remember the comments back in 2015, a lot of people were like, now I gotta watch the original trilogy, I wanna learn more about Darth Vader. I think that we could see a similar thing here in Episode 9 with Rebels, where Ezra could very well be a live action version of the character, and then going back, they can learn about that character in animated form. Now, they did pull this off in Rogue One, a Star Wars story to a degree, with the Clone Wars, by using Saw Gerrera, all right? I honestly think Forrest Whitaker did a fantastic job in that movie, some people would say otherwise, but looking at episode 9, guys, this movie has a lot of potential because of how many actors and actresses recently got cast for their roles in this movie, aside from all of the other characters that we are already used to, such as Finn, Poe, Rose, Hux, Kylo, uh, you name it, Lando, Luke, Leia coming into play as well. 
there are a lot of people in this movie and I think it's going to be very much like Avengers Infinity War level to the amount of characters in this film. But anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.